Goku. Oh, ya llegamos aquí a Los Ángeles a comprar la tela del vestido. A ver, si va a prom, I'm going to do this vlog in English. All right, so I'm here in downtown already. Gonna go buy the um, fabric that I need for this girl's prom dress. Girl, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be a top. I'm gonna show you right now, but still, I'm gonna explain to you. It's gonna be a top gold embroidered um, applique with diamonds and stuff like that. And then the bottom's gonna be emerald green. So let's go get this emerald green fabric at. Um, Blue Moons Fabrics right here in downtown LA. Okay, like yes, they're coming down through the uh, callejones. And um, let's go see about this prom dress. You know, I'm so excited because it's the first client of the year of 2023, bitch. So I am excited. And um, it was just an excitement when she came over. You know, well, the day that she came over, you know, because she's not going to be with the, depending on what day I put off this dress. Ooh, my lips are so champ. Mm -mm, that's a little crustiness for me, but let me see. All right, so let me just get into this blue moon fabric thing and then um, I'll get back with you guys and I'll explain to you more when my lips are not that crusty and trap. Oh no, they're not that trap anymore. But um, yeah, she came over and um, she, Jessica, you is watching this girl. I thank you. Where am I going? Oh. Let me just get into this thing. Okay, you guys, I made it here to Blue Moon's fabric. Look at all this fabric. Now I just gotta look for the one that I have to um, get, which is emerald green. Oh, is this it right here? Um, where's the tag at? So, baby. Oh. Um, yes, I found the fabric. No, I didn't find it. Um, but yes, here is the fabric that I'm going to get for the prom dress. Now, I just got to find the emerald green. I need a cutie to help me out here. Maybe on the other side. Was this emerald green? Um... Let me let me focus on this on these little fabric thingies and put my head to it before I get the wrong color and I get you know my hair pulled off by the client because she is paying a good penny for this dress. Let me tell you, honey, she is paying a good penny, but it's because it's custom made too, so she's gonna get what she wants, you know, the color she wants, the top she wants, and that's what she's gonna get. Okay, okay. Let me go ahead and go on the other side because girl, I haven't been here in a while, and I'm excited to be back here at Blue Moose Fabrics. Let me just tell you that, okay? Okay. All right, you guys, it's currently another day and I'm here already gonna start with the bottom piece of the uh, skirt of the dress. From her knee to the floor is gonna be 33 inches and I and you have to have six inches extra to cut the little piece right here. Oh, you're gonna take off inches off the, the front part. So it's actually gonna be two yards. So basically, it's two yards and like four inches. Well, two yards and 10 inches that you're gonna be needing for the front part of the panel. And we're gonna go ahead and start cutting off the rest. So we're gonna go, let me see, do six inches, six inches. Let me get my pins, give me a second. All right, so now that I got my pins, we're gonna go right here and pin this part right here. That's gonna be the cutting part, point right there. And you're gonna cut it as a half circle from the point right here. You're gonna do six inches going like that clockwise. So let me go ahead and cut that little piece out and I'll be back. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and cut this little piece off right here. And this is the first piece of the skirt that's gonna go connected to the bottom of the skirt. Now, now we're gonna do the uh, knee to floor, which is gonna be 33 inches. And we're gonna go 33 inches all the way around like that. Can y'all see me? Pay attention, ho. Make your own dress, okay? Since y'all so stingy with it. But um, yeah, it takes time to make. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and cut out the 30 inches and I'll be back with you guys, okay? okay. is what the firm part looks like that's how it should look like i'm gonna go ahead and even out the other side so i can go ahead and get the tail point okay Purr. all right for the back part it's gonna be it's gonna be like a longer train 
So you see that how I put the back piece more to the back because you have to cut that part to the back. Over here you're gonna do the same thing. You see how it has this big distance? Her train's gonna be 60 inches long, which is the width of the of the fabric. And all I gotta do right here now is just cut the seven. Well, I had said six inches, but it was actually gonna, it's actually seven inches, this part right here, the corner part, which is this part right here. It's not six inches, it's seven. My dumbass missed mistake. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the seven inches here too. And then from this point on right here, I'm just gonna cut that way so it can have that nice shape of the circle. So let me go ahead and cut this part out and then I'll just show you how I cut that part out, okay? All right, so at this point, your two pieces should look like two baseball fields. Well, that one looks more like a baseball field. This one should look like a lost by lopsided baseball field. This is the back part, which is longer, and that's the front part, which is shorter. Let's go ahead and start cutting out the skirt part now. All right, you guys, now that I'm done cutting out the skirt part right, right now. Girl, it sounds like they got a scratch CD out there because they're having quinceanera practice. So I might not be recording a lot as of for now. I might just have to sew the skirt together and put the horse hem. Meanwhile, they're doing that quinceanera practice because they keep on pausing and pausing and it sounds like they got a scratch CD out there. So can you hear all the noisiness? It's like they're playing musical chairs too. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and probably you guys should probably see a time lapse of this so you guys don't hear so much because all I hear is the same song again, again and again and again. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this horse hair, um, sew these two up together and then I'm gonna cut out the skirt. I don't know why I don't cut out everything and then sew it together, but I just wanna, feel, I feel like sewing already. I don't feel like cutting out no more. I wanna feel like sewing and plus the train takes a little bit longer. So meanwhile, they're doing their, their practice out there, playing musical chairs. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this, okay? So I'll be back with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pin down these sides so they don't come out crooked on me. Mary now looks like they're paused on that music, so <laughs> you guys just hear loud stop, block, all kinds of craziness. It's because they're out there acting a fool. They're not paying attention to the teacher. I hear basketballs bouncing almost like, ain't you supposed to be practicing for that quinceanera? Girl. Okay, so yeah, I lined up the edges, the back and the front. Make sure it's nice and lined up so I don't come out crooked in your ass. Okay, so I pin it down. And now we sew. We'll make sure everything's pinned down. Nice and neat. Oh, can you guys see me? Maybe you guys need to go a little bit more back. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, you're gonna fall. Give me a second. All right, so now that I have the side pin nice and neat so it don't come out crooked one longer than the other, I'm gonna go ahead and now sew it down. Sew it down. All right, at this point in the video, I'm already flipping over the horse hem. See how it's supposed to be like that? Now it's being flipped over like that. You just go ahead and you start sewing down. Nice and neat, pull this one is nice and neat, and it ends up like this, you know? Like this, like that, okay. All right, oh my God, you guys, I was so excited. I was over here. I just finished the the, um, the bottom of the skirt to put it on the horse hem and I got a message talking about Planet Rice Stone, the bodice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it right now guys and show it to you guys, but God damn, it took like a week and four days to arrive, but if I finally got here, I was worried about it because it was only like, like today is March 23rd and her prom is uh, April 20th and I'm supposed to give her the dress two weeks before 
and I was like, I got a week left, and this thing was not arriving. I got so nervous, but um, I finally got here. Let me open it up, and I'll show it to you guys, okay? Okay. Oh my god, the excitement, the excitement. Ah! Here she is. Oh my god. It's pretty heavy, but look at it, you guys. It was pretty heavy. Oh my God, but she's finally here, you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's what she's looking like. Okay, let me go ahead and get back to this thing and whoo. Okay, so at this point of the video, we are already cutting the skirt out, which is her hip is 30, 38 inches. So you divide that by four and it's gonna be nine inches across right here. And her waist is 28 and it's gonna be seven inches on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out already. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in the darts to the um, skirt so we can go ahead and do it. So how I find the dart is I fold it like that. Just gonna fold it. That's the middle right there. I'm gonna press that down. And then I open it up in that crease right there. I mark it. And then it's gonna be like one inch. So I get the one inch in the middle. And then I put it right there. And then mark it right. Can you guys see? Let's get, let's see. get closer. All right, so one inch dart. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put it right there in the center and then right here one inch there one inch not an inch that's a half an inch right there and you see it's gonna leave the markings right there you see that right there and then we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna be five inches going down once you find that mark pin it right there it's gonna go right there and then from here it's gonna be four and a half oh basically on the mark and we're gonna go ahead and just put the dart right there. See right there, a little dot, okay. So then now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my ruler and gonna go ahead and draw that little triangle that makes a dart. So put the dart there, make the dart line there, nice and straight, nice and even, so it's like a V. Oh, almost went out of line right there and that's what your darts should look like and i already sold one skirt already so this was basically it's supposed to look like the dart for the thing nice and neat you see that right there yes nice and neat okay so let's go ahead and go on moving on to the sewing part okay all right so i pinned the dart down like that so it's supposed to be even nice and neat. You see how that's even and now we go ahead and we start sewing back stitch it and then I start removing the pin one by one keep it nice and down okay just gonna go like that remove that pin so along that line that we that I just drew and with the one you just drew on your skirt as well go ahead and do that keep following through just a little bit and off the edge it goes and that's what she should look like see right on that right on that line that's where we sew focus now that's how it should look like nice and neat go a little bit further see that's her dart right there and that's what it should look like nice and neat it looks like it's vanishing into the bottom of the skirt that's your dart All right, you guys, at this point of the video, we are gonna start cutting the bodice top part, which is this is the back part, and then we're gonna continue with the front, and then we're gonna start sewing and putting this dress together, okay? Okay. Okay, here we have the two back pieces already cut out. Now moving on to the front. 
Okay, so here we have the front part of the thing and I have to put in the, um, as you can see right here, is gonna be the dart for the front part. And um, let's continue cutting this out. All right, I'm done sewing in the two dart. That's what it should look like for the front panel. See how it's already showing like the best part. It's already like, it's not straight anymore. It's all like loompy. So that's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and sew on all the bodies. Okay, that's what it should look like put together. You see that? That's the side seam. Okay, continuing. Okay, now I'm just pinning on the bodice to make sure it kind of fits because the mannequin's a little, like two inches smaller than, than the original girl, but it fits how I want it to fit. See, that's how the bodice should look. And that's the bodice right there. Fits perfectly just how I want it to fit. Yes. Yes. Okay, moving on with attaching the skirt already, okay? Okay, so at this point of the video, I have already put the two skirts together because I lined it. Now I'm doing the top stitch on the other side to lower it down. So that's what it looks like top stitching it. So let's just continue. So at this point of the video, I'm starting to cut out the lace already so I can start pinning it on. That is what the skirt looks like already um, finished. Look how nice and needed this. And that's that. That's what the back is looking like. I had to X at this because she's a little thicker on the waist. But yep, that's how that skirt's going. On to cutting on the applique. Two, two, two. All right, so at this point, I haven't sewn on the applique, as you can see right there, there's still pins. I have to sew it down, but that's what it looks like so far. I just need to add on the little tr the train, not the little train, because it's a big train, but she is looking like a beauty. Okay, you guys, at this point, I'm already installing in the invisible zipper. That's how it's coming out so far. I'm not gonna show you sewing, but it is what it is, and that's how it is going. Okay, you guys, at this point, as you can see, the invisible string, you see it right in front of me with the needle. Okay. I am already sewing in the bodice. You guys are not going to be able to see much, but here's what that looks like, sort of like that. And yeah, so I'm already finished sewing it, but that's what I'm doing. I'm already finishing the last part because it takes for a while. It took me like almost... Two and a half hours to sew all the way around. You know, all this right here nice and neat. So yeah, that's what she's looking like already. All right, you guys, so here is Miss Klein. She is serving the body yachty of her dress, prom 22. She is excited. What do we think about it, Miss Thing? 10 out of 10. Yes. 10 out of 10. Yes, 10 out of 10. Let me see.